Good morning, G1 Elementary. This is Pastor Marilyn from Spring Valley Church of God. Welcome to G1E. We are G1E, God first, E for elementary, because we are kids in grades one through four, and we are helping families and kids live God first lives. Well, on this Sunday morning, I want to welcome you and say hello. Um, I pray all is going well with you and your family. Everything's going good in school. It's almost the end of the school year, kids. I think you got a few months to go, right? Yay! <laughs> well, in today's lesson, we're going to be learning how God wants us to grow his family. It's springtime and there's lots of things growing outside. So how about we take a little field trip today? We're gonna take a walk around my yard and maybe the neighborhood to see what we can find that's growing. Are you ready? All right, I'll see you in just a minute. Oh, wow, look at this boys and girls. Do you guys know what this is growing? This is a tulip, isn't it so pretty? That's one thing we found growing. Here's another tulip. Isn't it so pretty? And here's another one. Here's a beautiful plant that's growing. It grows into a big giant bush. Here's a bush that will eventually have flowers growing all over it. This plant has not yet come alive, but it will. Boys and girls, welcome back. So we just finished talking about different kinds of flowers. We saw a tulip, we talked about morning glories, roses, we talked about the dogwood tree. And just like there are different kinds of plants all over the world, God wants us to make different disciples all over the world. God wants his family to grow big, big, big. He wants all kinds of disciples. He wants African-American, Caucasian, uh, Italian, Hispanic, Oriental. God wants everybody, all kinds of people to become his disciples, to become part of his family. So what he did was he sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins so we can be forgiven. And when we ask Jesus into our heart, when we tell him we're sorry for our sins, we become his friend. We become a part of his family. We become a disciple. Now, what is a disciple? A disciple is a friend of Jesus. They're part of his family. They are a follower. They are a learner. And once we get to know Jesus, we can go and make other disciples. As a matter of fact, that is what Jesus said other disciples should do. Like, if you're a disciple of Jesus, you can go out and make disciples. How? By telling other people about Jesus. As a matter of fact, those were Jesus' final orders. Uh, after he died on the cross, he came back alive. And then he went around showing people that he was alive. He showed them the scars in his hands and in his side. He showed them... Um, uh, that they that he could eat he cooked fish and bread on the beach for some of his disciples he showed himself to groups of people so that they would know yes he did in fact come alive and that they can believe what he says is true one last thing that Jesus said to his disciples before he went back to heaven was to go and make disciples Let's read about that in Matthew chapter 28, verse 16. Do you guys have your adventure Bible? I have mine. All right, so Matthew chapter 28, verse 16. It says, Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, 
they went to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshiped him, but some still had their doubts. Then Jesus came to them. He said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. So you must go and make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. And you can be sure that I am always with you to the very end. So boys and girls, Jesus' final words were, if you are a disciple, he wants you to go out and make disciples of other people. Earlier, we said that disciples are friends of Jesus. They become a part of his family. So once you become a disciple, your job is to go and make disciples of others. But how do you do that? Well, you have friends, right? Did you ever introduce a friend to your friend? Well, it's kind of the same thing. It's very similar. You would basically introduce your friends to your friend Jesus. Now, we cannot see Jesus, but he is with us always. He said right here, he said that I am with you always, even until the very end. So we believe that Jesus is with us. We cannot see him, and we, we tell other people about him. We tell our friends. We say, hey, do you know who my friend Jesus is? And they might say, no, who is Jesus? And you would tell them, Jesus is God's son. And you can ask them, do you know what Jesus did for you and for me? And they'll say, what? And you can say, Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Sins are the bad things we might do and the good things we don't do. But Jesus loves us so much that he took the punishment for our sins. You can ask him, did you ever get in trouble for doing something you didn't do? Mm -hmm. Like maybe your little brother or sister broke a glass and mom thought you did it and you're the one who got punishment for it. That's what Jesus did for us. When he died on the cross, he was dying for our sins, for the things that we did wrong. And then you can ask your friends, would you like to be a friend of Jesus too? And they will say, well, how? And you will say, all you got to do is say, Jesus, I believe you are God's son. I am sorry for my sins Come into my heart. Boom. That's it. Easy as that. And that person becomes a disciple. You have just made a disciple as Jesus asked you to do. That person has become his friend. And then you can tell them next steps is you're a part of God's family. So come. Every Sunday, the family gets together in G1E. We worship. We learn a lesson. We play. We have a snack. We play games. We have lots of fun in G1 Elementary. You're a part of the family, so come with me. And then you tell them to read their Bible. And if they can't read, somebody can help them read, right? Or you can read to them. You can teach them about good Christian movies like Joseph and the Coat of Many Colors. There's all kinds of Christian movies out there that kids can watch. And then you teach them that they can pray, they can talk to Jesus, because that's what prayer is, just talking to Jesus. And then you can teach them to help others in any way that they can. Just look around you and see who needs help. Now in the COVID, that's a little bit hard, but some of us are back in school and we can do anything that possible that we can to help somebody who is near us. Even at home, you can help mom and dad. So boys and girls, that is what a disciple is. It is somebody who loves God, is a friend of Jesus, is a part of God's family. They talk to God, they learn about God, and they help other people become friends or disciples of God. Before we go, uh, let us practice our memory verse. It comes from Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. It says, so you must go and make disciples of all nations. Can you say that with me, boys and girls? Matthew chapter 28, 
verse 19. You must go and make disciples of all nations. Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. So you must go and make disciples of all nations. Good job. Give yourself a hand. And just a few quick questions. Number one, after Jesus died on the cross and came back alive, who or what did he do to show himself to other people? Yes. Very good. Jesus showed people his scars in his hands and in his side. He ate meals with people. He even cooked fish and bread on the beach. Now, after Jesus died on the cross, he was getting ready to go back to heaven, but he gave his disciples one final order. What was that order? Very good. If you said he said, go and make disciples, you were right. Does it matter what kind of disciple we make? I mean, does it have to be only African Americans, only Italians, only Hispanics? No. Just like there's many, many flowers all over the world, God wants all people to become his disciples, whether they live in Germany, Italy, whether they live in Reading or Temple or Muhlenberg or Pottstown or wherever they live. God wants them to become a disciple. And then our final question is, once somebody becomes a disciple, what should they do? Just go home and that's it? No, uh-huh, uh-huh. I mean, no, you're right. They shouldn't just go home and do nothing. They should talk to Jesus, learn about Jesus, come to G1E to be with the rest of the family, help people wherever they can, and tell people about Jesus so they can become his friend. Well, boys and girls, very good job. That is it for today. Before we go, can I pray for you? All right, let's see praying hands and praying eyes, boys and girls. Father, we thank you for this beautiful, beautiful Sunday morning. We thank you for being our Heavenly Father. We thank you for our Adventure Bible. We thank you, Lord, for all of our family and friends. Thank you for our teachers in G1E. And we thank you for Spring Valley Church of God. Thank you for teaching us that before Jesus went back to heaven, he gave a final order, and that was to make disciples. Thank you that we can make disciples of any kind of person if they are willing. And thank you that you love us so much that you sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. Help us to go out and tell all kinds of people that because people need to know that you love them. No matter who they are, you love them. And we ask that as we go throughout this day today that you will, do, you will help us do things that bring a smile to your face and joy to your heart. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.